it's important to know when to fight your enemies and when to hide when playing Hunted. Welcome to Tantrum House Studio Awesome. I'm Ryan. And I'm Katie. And today we're going to be taking a look at Hunted by Gabe Barrett. It is a single player card game and it's all about trying to make it through the scenario. You're going to be looking for lo a specific location, but you're going to have to survive on your way to that location. Um, we have a couple of prototype scenarios, so let's take a look. In each version of the game, the goal is to get to an end location. Each scenario has a deck for locations that you are trying to work through. Rooms each have their own rewards or consequences. Locations are found through exploring the Hunted Deck. The Hunted Deck contains items, location triggers, tests, people to rescue, and enemies. On a turn, you can choose to flip the top card of the Hunted Deck and add it to a row of cards that you are currently working with. If it is a test, you must resolve it right away. Enemies can be fought or can be hidden from, depending on the situation. Item cards and location triggers can be purchased by paying the required symbols by discarding other flipped up cards. While going through these decks, you have to keep up with your health and the time you are spending. Certain actions cost time and any enemy that isn't defeated on the first try will take down your health. Each version has slightly different rules. Hunted Mining Colony 415 is more dexterity based, with tokens being tossed onto cards to hopefully land in the right spots. Hunted Kobayashi Tower is based upon allocating and rolling dice to hopefully get high numbers. As with most single player games, this game is designed to be challenging so that winning is an accomplishment. You have to also try to beat your best score as you count up your time, your health, and any rescued people for points. And you get additional points for playing the hard variant of either scenario. I thought it was interesting how you were just uh, pushing your luck, continually adding cards to this row until ultimately you had to face an enemy. Mm -hmm. And I liked how you had to either, um, you had to decide what cards you were going to discard to do what. So, mm -hmm. you know, a grenade might have a move symbol on it and allow you to uh, discard another card to explore a location, but that card with the location might have the search icon on it to let you get that grenade. So you got to weigh your choices. Mm -hmm. Am I going to make it easier for myself to defeat enemies or am I going to get through that location deck faster? Yeah, and part of the push your luck thing is you have to fight enemies if you build up these bell symbols um, so you don't get the chance to hide. Um, and then if you have to fight an enemy, you lose all the cards in your row. So you could end up losing that thing you're really trying to get. Um, so it's always a, you know, should I hide? Should I try to, should I just go ahead and use this thing even though I don't have a key, I can discard it for something better, uh, that type of thing. So you're always having to make these kind of tough decisions and surprisingly, it is very easy to lose. Um, I did not win on my first attempt and I wasn't paying attention and I lost all of my time. So that is something that you really have to keep your eye on. With any game that you're fighting the mechanic of the game and not other players, you do want it that you're not just winning every time. Yes, that's uh, true. But this game, it, it's definitely possible to win, but it is very challenging, or at least we found it so. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of what you're looking for, is something that's easy to play, but uh, challenging to win. Uh, and it's also good that there's some really familiar scenarios uh, that you're playing through. Once you play the scenario, you're like, oh, I know exactly what kind of story I'm playing. Mm -hmm. um, and that is a definite plus for this kind of game. If this sounds of interest to you, definitely check it out on Kickstarter, Hunted by Gabe Barrett. The ga go <laughs> Was that not good? <laughs> you were like, <laughs> you said it weird. It, it sounds like you said haunted. 
It is That's haunted. Hunted. Oh, it's hunted. <laughs> she made fun of me for pronouncing it that way earlier. But it's hunted, not haunted. Shh, stop it. Okay. 